my role, I uh, see patients uh, with uh, disorders of endocrine systems, particularly thyroid, parathyroid, and adrenal glands. The patient was a athletic, young, healthy man in his 30s who started feeling incredibly ill and for quite a long time really wasn't sure what was going on. He had fainting episodes, sweating, palpitations, feeling fatigue, not being able to work out anymore. And this was completely out of standard for his otherwise very active lifestyle. When he was evaluated, he was found to have a tumor in the retroperitoneum near the adrenal gland, but it was nestled between the vena cava and the aorta and the renal artery and vein was draped over it. So it was really sort of nestled and held by the largest blood vessels in our body. And this was a very functional tumor. It produced a lot of norepinephrine, which caused him to have very high blood pressure and all these symptoms that he had been complaining about. Removing this tumor would have been very difficult because we would have had to go in there, move all these organs around, really separate it from the blood vessels, move the blood vessels off of it and try to get underneath it, which is very difficult to do. I realized that we had to basically approach it medically and in conjunction with his endocrinologist, we worked together to improve his overall medical status by blocking the effects of these excess hormones. And once we felt that his medical status was optimized, I decided to approach this from a posterior approach. I knew that it could work quite well because if we actually just turned it upside down, then all the blood vessels would be underneath and the tumor would be on top and it would make removal much easier. Using laparoscopic materials, we were able to preserve all his kidney, his adrenal gland, and removed this tumor quite safely. And the patient did very well and he went home the next day. We don't just think about the technical aspects of the operation and how we can do it easier, but we also have to think about why does this young man have this tumor? It is an incredibly rare tumor, so we have to think about whether we are dealing with an inherited genetic disorder. Because if it had been, it would have had implications for the future because if he did carry some sort of mutation, this would have meant that he would have been at risk to develop these throughout his lifetime. So we would follow patients differently. Luckily, this was not an inherited disorder and therefore we could reassure him that he would not pass this on and that this hopefully would have been a single event in his life. The relief is immediate. As soon as the tumor is gone, within minutes, the symptoms are gone. He has gone back to his normal life and is once again very active and really feels like he has gained his entire life back. I, along with my colleagues, have a breadth of knowledge and experience in different types of procedures and approaches to the adrenal gland. Because we've been doing it for a long time, because we do a lot of them, we are able to tailor approaches for each individual patient. We want to maximize the patient's best outcome. That means less pain, faster recovery with a really great operation, which not only is a good operation in the short term, but also in the long term, meaning we don't want to spill tumor cells, we don't want to increase their chance of having a recurrence. So all of those components are taken into consideration at a place such as UCSF when we see a patient with an adrenal tumor.